No, of course, our favourite, the Blue Zones, though. Blue Zones, though, we're told. Well, several problems with Blue Zones. Number one, typically there is a lack of official documentation. There is a lack of absolute proof, actually, of the ages of people. Uh, a lot of them are estimated. Uh, there are some blue zone areas where there is a fairly good indication that the numbers aren't too bad. Sure, absolutely. Mostly, though, not. Um, number two, there are a bunch of confounders. Again, this is associative. This is not cause and effect. This is not an experiment. People are not locked in laboratories here. These are people free living, doing what they do. And there are a bunch of things that associate with the proposed longevity of people living in the blue zones. And uh, just for fun, here's a list of some of them. Caloric intake is generally lower. Well, it's been shown in mice, and I know this is a mouse study, so not humans, but it's been shown in mice and rats and, and other, um, other mammals as well, that if you reduce caloric intake chronically, then you increase lifespan as well. So there is a confounder. So that's if you believe, actually, in the first instance, that people in the blue zones eat, um, well, there are, none of them are actually vegan populations. They're all populations that consume higher amounts of plant material, supposedly, and lower amounts of, of meat and fat, supposedly. There's actually, you know, many that will question the, the veracity and accuracy even of those claims. For example, the classic one that the vegans go for is the Okinawans, who they say, you know, live on a diet basically of, of sweet potatoes and, and uh, not very much of anything else, actually. It turns out, actually, that Okinawans do eat a significant amount of pork, uh, and, um, and before the, the Great War, they ate even more pork. So, yeah, anyway, that's that's that one. So anyway, caloric intake, 15% lower in Okinawans than in mainland Japanese, for example. So that may well be the end of the Blue Zone argument there for Okinawa for a start. You'll find the same in, in Ikaria, Greece, and Sardinia, Italy, and, and Costa Rica, as they like to say, and also in the Seventh-day Adventists over there in California. Caloric intake, less. Okay, activity levels generally higher in people who live in blue zones. They're more active, they have more manual labor, typically, um, with the exception of the Loma Lindens. Poverty typically is also another associate to this, i.e. less technology, harder lives, less blue screens, less telephones. There's also a lot of social cohesion, which is another associate to living a long life. And generally, these communities are isolated in some way from others as well. So they're all, all the, a list of a few of the confounders. There are many, many others. Basically, what we're saying here is, again, Blue Zones, though, is simply not a scientific approach. It simply doesn't prove anything. It's absolute nonsense to suggest, number one, even that people that live in these zones, you know, have anything like vegan diets. They don't. Um, meat and animal fat is a large part of the diets of at least one, two, three, four out of the five populations shown on the screen here. Okay, so nonsense in terms of vegan diets, blue zones, though. Well, that doesn't prove a damn thing. It doesn't support your argument that veganity is the way to go. Nope. So that's the end of that one.